हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो फाइनली द डे केम आउट एंड द योको हमारा रिलीज इज नाउ लाइव फॉर पीडीआईज एज वेल सो वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सेट अप अ मल्टी फैक्टर ऑथेंटिकेशन व्हिच हैज रिलीज्ड इन योको हमा फॉर पीडीआई एज वेल सो वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अ लुक हाउ वी कैन कॉन्फिगर अ मल्टी फैक्टर ऑथेंटिकेशंस एंड हाउ टू सेट अप ऑल दोस थिंग्स इन ऑर्डर टू एंश्योर or restricts the security policies for the users so stay tuned watch it complete till the end so in order to start implementation you can get your yokohama pdi from developer.service.com i'll also provide the link in the description so before we configure mfa we need to ensure two things where the property and the plugin both should be enabled so i will go to plugin section and i will open the plugin section now i will provide the plugin id and i will hit enter so as of now i have already installed this uh, multi factor authentication plugin you can see that it has installed i will also provide this plugin id into the description now we need to enable the property i have already enabled the property let me show you multi factor so i what i'll do i'll simply type multi factor in application navigator and under the properties so it will open the property page where all the properties related with the multi factor authentication you can see that so we have already enabled enable multi factor authentication to true now after installing the plugin of multi factor authentication you would able to see some modules related with multi factor authentication let me show you multi factor authentication you can see that we have a multi factor criteria multi factor browser fingerprints multi factor setup user recent use factor so these are some related module where we can provide uh mfa based on some criteria based on some roles based on some groups and based on some individual user so as this is a new release so service has introduced that in the pdi as well we are going to configure a mfa so that for the security for the users so what we will do we will simply go back to the user profile so for which user we want to configure a mfa so as of now i am going to configure it for myself as an admin so what i will do i will simply open the user table so mfa is a multi factor authentication which is a more than one form of verification to access the accounts or application so what i will do i will simply search the user id which is admin i'll hit the enter and i will open it now it has opened i have enabled the property i have installed the plugin so i am good to go now in the related, under the related link section you can see that we have a related link called configure multi factor authentication so i will click on configure multi factor authentication so here you need to set up a authentication type which relates to the third party applications like microsoft authenticator so you need to install microsoft authenticator in your mobile phones so here are several types of authenticator like you can uh, see time based one time password authenticator app biometric authenticators which is related with your face your fingerprints and hardware security keys or pass keys so as of now i will simply set it up on authenticator app so i will click click on set up authenticator app now in my mobile phone i have already installed authenticator so what i will do i will simply open the authenticator app and try to scan this uh, qr code now i will simply click on add account now scan a qr code so i have scanned the qr code now it has added i will provide the screenshot in this video as well now i need to simply go to dev and here i will provide the otp 543995 now i have 
scanned that uh, QR code in my authenticator app and it has added like this like you can see that dev and my uh, PDI number which is 229175 now I will the moment I'll click on this particular admin ID I will get onto this UI where I, I can see my OTP so I need to enter the same OTP into there where it is showing enter your OTP so my OTP and your OTP would be different based on timing so it is for 20 seconds oh sorry 30 seconds so within 30 seconds you need to type this OTP otherwise your OTP will get changed and you need to type a new OTP OTP 543995 pair device now you can see that multi-factor authentication has been successfully configured so I will simply click on OK now we have set up an auth Microsoft authentication via the Microsoft Authenticator app with this time based one time password method. Now if you want you can we have several more methods to set up you can easily do it via biometric authenticators hardware security keys or pass keys. So thank you for watching it.